I had some nightmares. It's as if I um, entered into seeing certain situations and embodying them, maybe to bring back some understanding or compassion about those situations, but I entered into very, very violent, uncomfortable worlds, and um, it, it's as if I was consciously within them and outside of them at the same time, so it never really changed anything or disturbed me in a deep way, but it made me aware physically of some of the things you read in the papers, you know, about different war zones and... You do wake up really upset because it's so real. And it just stays with you viscerally. So I'm not telling you exactly what it is, of course. <laughs> it's the unsaid. No, I'm not trying to hide, it's just to narrate the dream bit by bit um, would be pretty exhaustive and I'm not sure it would really point out what I just said. What is it that you get out of having a strong, visceral, kind of vivid dream? I think you get the experience to bring back with you that this particular environment or context doesn't give you really and so you enter and exit worlds, basically, and I think it's endless where you could go, what you could experience, and really up to your consciousness, how much you can handle. So I've, I've had some pretty intense dreams recently. The world is in it's such upheaval. It's, it's in such upheaval, and we hear about this, and those of us who are lucky, who are even outside of it to a degree, uh, outside of direct kind of attack, can get disconnected, and we see that a lot. So I think dreams serve that purpose, to connect you to context outside of what you're actually experiencing at the moment. I've had one dream when I was 19 that probably changed my life. And um, it was, you know, once in a while you have these prophetic dreams that tell you, okay, this is what you're about, and you don't get that in reality. What's important is, um, that I got symbols. Okay, I'll tell you, because it actually is appropriate for this. So I am running through kind of a forest, and I get to a house. I go in and I go through it. And as I go through it, I pass by... Um, something that looks like a church, but it's actually half Christian, half Tibetan, and it's deserted. And I'm looking at it thinking, that's an interesting combination, and why is it deserted? And then I keep moving on, and I come to these stairs, and I am giving you a shorter version of it, but I want to get to the point of it. I start climbing up these stairs that are kind of covered with moss and I have a sense that they're after me. So there's this urgency where I'm, ru I'm running. I'm really running and I'm running away but I'm climbing higher and higher and higher and higher and higher. And when I'm just about to reach the top, there's a woman at the top who has absolutely transparent skin. You can practically see her veins, she's blind, she's deaf. And I'm standing in front of her knowing that she has the answer, but I cannot talk to her in a language. I have to communicate to her in a different way. And if I figure out how to do that, I can move on and escape. 
So there you go. How do you like that? It's about in order to get through to the other side, you can't use language. It's just something much, much more deeper and complex. And so I'm probably doing that in this lifetime, trying to figure out how to do that. I'm not sure why I was chased, who was chasing me, or what I was trying to escape. That's not really quite clear. Um, I don't necessarily feel like that in life. But I do feel driven. I feel driven absolutely for knowledge and for trying to work myself, filter my body, my mind. Absolute drive. That, that could be a kind of a sense of being chased or having a, time, a short time to do something and to achieve something because it's limited time on this planet. Something like that. I think that came from a dream that to this day is vivid like I had it the other day. So that would be a dream that I would say is a kind that tells you a message that, that becomes integrated into whatever your life course ends up being. I woke up, I was changed, and I, I had that, I had an unsaid understanding of what I just experienced. So, 100%. It, it wasn't really a dream. It wasn't a dream in the sense of being separate from my reality. It was my spirit or consciousness, intelligence, whatever you want to call it, manifesting outside of my context that I was in physically at that moment, in that age, body, place, whatever, circumstance. And showing me through symbolic language and deep, full-on experience what it is where I'm at, which is running towards something, away from something, and trying to go as high as I can, but I can't reach it in, in a way that I'm, I was trying to, right? I have to figure out other ways. So it's a mystery. And, you know, maybe when I figure out that mystery, I'll be done. <laughs> be out of here. <laughs> yeah. The unsaid is the, the way we resolve this mystery. In other words, I could not answer it or tell anyone or get that answer from anyone. You can only yourself experience it. And that experience is something you can't say in words. So it's tough in a culture that wants everything in words or scientific proof. What do you do? <laughs>